Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Probably one of the simplest materials we'll ever do, but basically I've got my shape loaded. I'm in the shading tab. I've got the viewport shading enabled and I've got a principled shader already assigned to the object. Going to make some changes just in the principled shader. Going to leave the base color as it is change the subsurface setting to 0.1 and the subsurface color to 0 0.453 for the hue, 1 for the saturation and 0.8 for the value. And you can see it's quite an intense color in the shader but in the actual object because it's the subsurface it's very very muted. Changing the subsurface IOR index of refraction to 1.47 and the anisotropy to 0.2, increasing the specular to 1, reducing the roughness to 0 0.05, increasing the clear coat to 1, because this is glazed ceramic, and the clear coat to roughness to 0 0.05. I always add a tiny bit of roughness to whatever I'm making because nothing is super perfectly smooth. Index of refraction I've changed but it's not going to make a huge difference as this is not a transparent object. And there we go, that's it. We render this out on the Cycles GPU and I'm using a thousand samples. You can of course increase this but generally a thousand seems to give me whatever I need it to. Okay, remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe.